When this MCI church bus came in, it had really bad kingpin wear on it here. Um, this is more shim wear or bearing wear, uh, so they're slopping it up and down a lot. So we're going to go ahead and replace this, or at least take it apart and see if it just needs new bearings. But if you have it apart, it's not worth it. Just change okay. the whole thing. Was off for the weekend, so we gotta build up air pressure. Not moving? What do you mean? Punch. Oh. I need a punch now. Down. I was getting ready to remove the kingpin here. Now, apparently the last time I did this, nobody tightened anything back up. Everything was loose. It comes off to get to the kingpin. Uh, the caps at the top, the wedge lock, bolts. Uh, the brake can was put on weird. Um, this Pittsburgh uh, half inch flex head uh, took my old one in for warranty replacement on it the head was very floppy on it it wouldn't stay um, the it, it wouldn't get tight it kept the bolt kept falling out of it so they replaced it no questions asked just walked in and super easy replacement and now we have a flex head that actually stays in the position that it should our old one was just flopping around it was so inconvenient but uh, they do stand behind their warranty over there at Harbor Freight we tested out these three detergents here and washing our bus clothes that always smell like grease and oil and gear oil and nastiness. Um, this did absolutely nothing for the odors. Uh, I got the grease out, but they still smelled horrible. Um, these two here worked really good at getting the odors out. So this out pro wash one, um, it worked really, really well. It cleaned them up good and there's no odor whatsoever to it. My bus clothes always smell nasty after getting laundered and this got rid of it completely, as did this here. Uh, this company did send us this to test it out. Um, I didn't get any money or anything, but they sent you know they sent me a free samples of it. Um, but it worked really, really well too. So both of these brands right here uh, worked excellent. This is the Defunkify, and then this one is Out Pro Wash. This cleaned them, but they still had that smell like gear oil and grease and nastiness. But uh, yeah, we're real happy with both of these two. Just switch the air hammer since it's moving now. Or are you gonna...
Can you just, we'll just come out with it. It looks like you can just grab it and pull it out of your hands. Does it look pretty good or has it got wear on it? Helping my Snap-on guy figure out what the set of tire pressure is at by weighing his uh, truck, tool truck, figure out how much it weighs on each tire and we know what tire pressure to set it at. Good. That's 6,500. Inside 7,100. There you go. Inside 7,100. We had a lot of rain come through. We took the day off uh, just to prepare for the storm and get our vehicles in and everything. Thing's been set up out here for a couple of years and it's all coming apart now from the storm. See a bunch of water hanging in the roof on the back side. Doesn't look like it's torn up. This looks like I think it got a lot of water on the roof and then it pulled it apart. Our mobile welder came out and he's going to take care of this rust issue that's going on here on this uh, support for the airbags. This is what holds the body on top of the axle there, so can't have that all rusted out.
thirsty. A little bit. Braces and bearings going in here. The new seal is in the retainer. Jonathan's in there putting the new shock on. So we'll have that one more shock there. The swing arm is now pivoting on its own. So we've got that freed up. The new bearings in there, the new shocks and airbags are on on this side. Hunter's just putting the axle back in right now. So here I got the jack under here. There's no air in the airbag. It's totally deflated. And just by lowering, just gravity alone brings it down like it's supposed to. Originally that wasn't moving at all. So we got that fixed up. We're doing our final brake work here. And uh, it's coming out of the DD3 chamber there. <laughs> Darn it. Anything else? There's a leak. Coming out of the leveling room. Darn it. Can I respray it? Yeah. flathead snap-on screwdriver. That sucks. Come on. This way. Good job, Ellie. What you got? That Cena Cruiser? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're adding our five gallons of synthetic gear oil to the rear end right now. Jonathan's doing that. Got some duct tape across the end, so, and we got this axle higher than the one on the other side. It's the easiest way to fill it. That hub's all back on. New bearings, new races, new bearings, new races, all packed with grease, ready to go. On the other side, they are packing bearings right now. Tyler's just finishing packing that one. Hunter's another removing the DD3 uh, that needs to come off and get rebuilt. And then uh, that hub's back on. This hub's getting ready to go back on. So we're just about got things back together here. Hunter's removing the DD3 brake that's got to gotta be rebuilt on there. Had to remove the shock that we just put on because we didn't know it was leaking. It only leaks in the off position, so. Okay, so we put a little seal on here, a little surface there, the wiper. And then this plate has a seal on it. And this snaps onto here. Gaskets go in between it on both sides. And it snaps on. And now the oil from the axle can't get into the grease from the hub. So it's a block off plate. So the hubs will be grease, and then the axle still has oil in it. Same problem the last one did. Somebody over greased it. That's what my guess is going to be. Think they over greased it? Yeah. The diaphragm is definitely bad. Look at all this rubber powder that's inside here. That's how much it's all worn. That diaphragm's got some good creasing in it too. We're replacing both diaphragms. But in the DD3 chamber here, all these, the rollers look good. It was just over greased, but we've pulled out the, the center section here and we're gonna, we got new, uh, new seals to put down on there. There's an o-ring there but underneath of the disc that these sit on there's a rubber o-ring under there as well and that's what was leaking causing air to come up through the shaft there's a little bushing down in there too so we're gonna replace all that stuff it definitely was over grease and they pushed grease through it i think the grease had some dirt on it and that's we might have been able to just clean it up but it's a break so we're not taking any chances but the diaphragms were obviously completely shot. You know, this one's got holes in it. Polite sent me another flashlight for free. Wanted me to promote their flashlight stuff. Uh, they are having a sale. If you go to the website, this is the Baton 3 Pro Max. Uh, it's up to 2,500 lumens. You can set it on different light settings so you don't have to have it on the brightest all the time. It comes with the power, the little case. It's got the belt clip on it. Uh, it's rechargeable. It has the typical Olight uh, magnetic charge base on there. It came with a little stand too with a grip on it. But uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go there and purchase an Olight. We get like a small commission. I don't remember what it is, 5%, 10%, something like that. Um, anything you purchase off there. So I just want to be upfront about that. But it's a neat little Olight sale going on. I'll put the link in the description. We do like our Olight flashlights. We got a whole bunch of them. We did put the lock and lube attachment on our uh, grease gun. One of our Patreon members sent us that lock and lube. It's, we already have the air chuck one and that's the one for the grease fitting. So it makes it nice. We can just clip it on. We put new grease caps on there. So the actual, the, the hub center cap on there is made for grease. It had the ones that are on there for oil, even though they were grease packed. And then somebody added oil to the grease and it ruined it. Um, and the, they were cracked on the plastic, so they were going to leak anyways. So we stuck, went with grease anyways, and then we just got some new caps that were on there. They were like $25 a piece, so it wasn't too bad. All the hubs are all back together. Everything's good to go here. We're just waiting to replace the brake chamber and then the leveling valve, and then this wheel will go back on. And brake drum, of course, is still sitting off. But uh, 
Yeah, we had to take the shock back off to have good access to get that um, DD3 brake can out of there. And uh, yep, so we're just waiting on parts now and then this bus will be done and on its way. Scott'll put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. Bus Grease Mountain, we're gonna get that big job done. 